is the season for a different kind of holiday film. Shut up! Don't make me nuts today! It's Christmas! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 alternative Christmas movies. I know it's a little early for Christmas, Edward, but uh, I have a present for you. Not every Christmas flick is all about sappy morals, traditional values, religious symbolism, and Santa. Just because it's Christmas, people all of a sudden can't look at tits and ass? For this list, we're counting down those movies that are set at Christmas time, but do not necessarily revolve around the usual themes of the holiday. I saw the most wonderful idea for Christmas presents at the chemist. Gift tokens. We're excluding The Nightmare Before Christmas, though, as it's a genuine Christmas film, albeit with a cross-holiday theme. Merry Christmas! And what is your name? Number 10. Batman Returns. Tim Burton's direction of the brooding caped crusader and dreary Gotham City atmosphere sets the scene for a dangerous Christmas in the second installment of his Batman film series. The superheroes pitted against two other creatures of the night, the Penguin and Catwoman. Just the pussy I've been looking for. Between Penguin's circus gang-supported schemes and Catwoman's psychotic revenge plot, hopefully the children are nestled snug in their beds where it's safe. Your beauty and the beast in one luscious Christmas gift pack. If not, the chemistry that sparks between Bruce Wayne and his secret villainess Selina Kyle should help keep hearts and spirits nice and toasty. Mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. Mm, but a kiss can be even deadlier if you mean it. Number 9. The Ice Harvest Christmas Eve. Ho ho f***ing ho. John Cusack and Billy Bob Thornton play some crooks on thin ice when they realize that they can't drive their stolen mob money from its crime scene safely. It's Christmas. It turns out, though, that the small town strip clubs, alcoholism, violence, and sexual misadventures are all in the spirit of this holiday heist. What kind of man shoots his own wife in the back of the head on Christmas Eve? The Ice Harvest, based on the novel by Scott Phillips, is a genre-bending black comedy that's good for some thrills while the weather chills this winter. You know that I am practicing nonviolent resistance in honor of the Christmas holiday. Number eight, Eyes Wide Shut. Alice, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Stanley Kubrick's final film is not exactly cheerful Yuletide cinema. Merry Christmas, Mary! The fun starts at a Christmas party where Dr. Bill Harford's relationship with his wife is tested. Don't you want to go where the rainbow ends? Well, now that <laughs> depends where that is. And the what if implication of a possible affair just descends into creepier erotica from that moment forward. Remove your clothes. Or would you like us to do it for you? Eyes Wide Shut is a thriller that boldly asks, does what happened at the Christmas party stay there? If secret societies, orgies, and drug overdoses are on your wish list, this film definitely delivers. She's expecting us to take her Christmas shopping today. Number seven, Trading Places. Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! We've got twice the Christmas star power in Trading Places when Eddie Murphy's homeless Billy Ray Valentine gets a taste of the high life in the shoes of Dan Aykroyd's wealthy character, Louis Winthorpe III. Hello, security. Merry Christmas. After these guys discover they've gone from rags to riches and vice versa through a social experiment, you'd better hang on to your Santa hats because that's when the story gets hilarious. Christmas, huh? I'll give him a Christmas present he'll never forget! Trading Places is a rare Christmas gem that works wonderfully at entertaining us even with this much social and political commentary at its core. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Thank you very much! Vietnam did this to me, but I'm not bitter, thank you! Number six, The Ref. Merry Christmas. Not even a gun-wielding cat burglar can threaten the dysfunctional dynamic of an unhappy family at their insufferable holiday gathering. My God, 
Is this a Christmas story? Who cares? My forehead is blistering. But Dennis Leary's Gus tries his hand at it, and it's hysterical. Ow! I swear to God, you hit that kid one more time, and I'm going to stick that pig's head right up your ass. After a botched heist, this bitter couple's home is his only asylum from police capture. And insane as it may be, nothing brings families together like hostage situations and drama. At least they do in The Ref. I don't think you have a brain in your f head. Merry Christmas. Excluding this comedy from our list would be criminal, thanks to its suspense, witticisms, and bottled adventure alone. Mother. What? Is it possible for you to shut the f up for 10 seconds? Number five, Black Christmas. Put the Christmas music back on. If you're a thrill-seeking movie watcher, Christmas-themed horror is one way to celebrate the most wonderful time of the year. And Black Christmas is the 70s cult favorite to help you with that. Thank you. Merry Christmas. There was a little girl murdered over in the park tonight. Famous for being among the first slasher films in history, it's a story about a crank caller who wreaks murderous havoc on an unsuspecting sorority house's inhabitants. <laughs> Not bloody enough? 1984's Silent Night, Deadly Night might also satisfy. <laughs> this one features a sadistic, serial-killing, Santa-suited terrorist with a tragic past. Can you believe this? It's Christmas Eve, and we got orders to bring in Santa Claus. Number four, Iron Man 3. <sighs> Director Shane Black has a thing for Christmas themes in action movies, and Iron Man 3 is no exception. It's screwed, it's Christmas. According to interviews, Black enjoys using the holiday as a way to unite the world of the characters and their audiences, because Christmas is a time of reckoning that tests loneliness and togetherness in people. What are you waiting for? It's Christmas. Since Tony Stark has to deal with his fears and demons in the film... Hey, kid, what would you like for Christmas? The holiday set the tone for him to take action on his conflict with the villainous Mandarin perfectly. Merry Christmas, buddy. Number three, Brazil. And a very Merry Christmas to you all. This dark, dystopian cult classic is all about the holiday ideas that movies tend to sweep under the Christmas tree skirt, since they're not the rosiest themes of the season. Father, oh, Christmas can't come if we haven't got a chimney. Condemning bureaucracy, oppression, and consumerism, not even Santa is safe from the police state of this sci-fi fantasy. You know, it being Christmas and all. My husband's dead, isn't he? But fret not, it's still a very entertaining satirical comedy. Old Sam, a very happy Christmas. In the film, Sam Lowery quests for a woman he's been dreaming of, and He'll be damned if he lets the totalitarian government he's living under prevent him from winning her over. It's heavy. Heavy Christmas present. <laughs> Number two, Gremlins. Hey kid, this is Christmas, not Halloween. Few movies turn the traditional Christmas season on its head the way Gremlins does. Oh. <laughs> yum, yum. This movie is self-aware, shameless, and unapologetic about its counterculture. It's supposed to be Christmas. What the hell's going on? Shut yeah. up, you... As a satirical horror comedy, it still caters to everyone it can get its claws on, though, even children. Go on home, take a little gizmo there, sit by the fireplace, and open your Christmas presents, okay? What made this cute little mogwai named Gizmo an excellent gift has a price, and everyone pays for it the moment he gets wet or is fed too late. No, I have another reason to hate Christmas. Before we deck the halls with our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. With their eyes all aglow, we'll find it hard to sleep. Is this Christmas, huh? <laughs> Is this Christmas? I just want to say one thing to my kid who should be home sleeping. Merry Christmas, kid! It being Christmas Eve, I'm going to give you a choice. The knife or the gun. Hey, that'll work. Number one, Die Hard. Is there any Christmas music? This is Christmas music. It was December 
This action extravaganza takes place on Christmas Eve, when John McClane's character transformation develops under the kind of adventurous pressure that gives Ebenezer Scrooge and the Grinch a run for their money. It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles, so be of good cheer and call me when you hit the last lock. While you won't find preachy sermons of peace and goodwill in this flick, you will see a wonderland of bullets, blood and explosions. Seeing as Bruce Willis takes on an entire building of hostage-taking terrorists, it's certainly not your average Christmas movie. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. And that makes it easy pickings for our number one alternative title. If this is their idea of Christmas, I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> yippee ki for that. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? Do you agree with our list? Which alternative Christmas movies did we miss? For more festive top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Did you ever get depressed on Christmas? I don't celebrate Christmas. Thank <laughs> you.